Hey guys, Savage Recovery back for another video. How are my savages doing? If you guys aren't subscribed, do me a favor. If you want to support the channel, subscribe, hit the bell, get all my notifications. Hit a like, comment, share, help me out with the algorithm. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you can find me at savage underscore red underscore studios, where you can see all of my photography. And also I have a Facebook page and a Twitter. And you guys can check me out on Patreon. You guys can also check me out on the Cash App. Let's get into it. Everybody there just loved Cannon. He lit up the room. As soon as he shuts the door, I hear a loud gunshot that, that sounds fucked. And the closer I got to him, I realized that it was something far more serious. Far more serious. And I just scooped him up in my arms and held him and held him. And I screamed and Somebody help me play, please help me save my son. God, save my son, please. I, I was looking at him as I was picking up Cannon and I was so full of rage, but I couldn't leave my son's side. I just wanted to be with my son. And I saw Darius frantically pacing around the yard. It says the evening before he invited Sesums over for supper. It says it looked like he had a lot on his shoulders. Can you explain why he would shoot your five-year-old boy? I have no idea why he would kill my son in front of his two sisters, his cousins. No idea. As you can see in the video that I just played you, that's not the whole video. I cut it up because uh, copyright and claims and stuff like that and getting my video taken down. But that is an interview of the father. I had someone come in my comments and say, hey, um, it was a drug beef. The dad's on the run. That's why he was, the dad owes money, he's on, he's on the run, he's a lowlife. But uh, someone also sent me this video of the father, and the, va the father's clearly not on the run. He, like, clearly talked to the cameras. He clearly has an interview out there, and he clearly states that he doesn't know what the motive of this whole situation ended up being and that he doesn't have a motive to give. <clears throat> so, as far as this drug beef, I can't exactly tell you if there's drug beef or not. I will say that that next door neighbor did sell drugs. He was caught with felony possession of marijuana, and he also had a gun. So, not because of his race, but because of his charges prior and this case, I would assume that he is definitely a drug dealer or sells drugs. Or even if he isn't a drug dealer, he is a middleman and is able to cure things and tries to make money off of it or even tries to smoke for free or, or benefit for middleman stuff. But I would say he is a drug dealer. And him being 25... He's in that age range where it is completely and utterly possible. Now, I can't necessarily say that this is actually a racial, a racial thing. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, as of right now, I seem to believe that it is racial. There is no context to this. So trying to find a motive, you know, is going to be kind of hard. But if it wasn't a drug beef and it wasn't a... Uh, if it wasn't a drug beef and it wasn't racial, then I absolutely have no idea why he hurt this kid. But it just doesn't make, it just doesn't make sense. Like, it just doesn't make sense. It, him slightly going to the guy's yard, him shooting him in the head is, is weird. Um, if he invited him over for dinner, it seems that they were somewhat friendly. Um, there is a lot of stuff going on in the media when it comes to whites and blacks, and there's a lot of hatred coming towards whites. So it's very possible that, you know, he felt that this kid coming into his yard was like him disrespecting him or having white privilege or something, or, you know, him being upset that his father hadn't stopped him or his mom hadn't stopped him from coming into the yard like this had been a problem in the in the past and with what's going on with Black Lives Matter and the riots and the George Floyd situation that he had a breaking point like 
you know, he decided he was going to take it out on this kid because this kid just won't listen. Like, I, I really don't know what to even say. But the main reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to get out the fact that his father does isn't on the lam and his father gave an interview. Everyone was saying that, you know, his dad, where's the dad, where's the dad, where's the dad. So here is the video of the dad's uh, interview. And I'm going to have to go out and say that I really do think this is racial. That's my opinion. I'm not saying that from a situation of me thinking that I know everything or anything like that. But racking my head and racking my mind going through this whole situation with what it could be. And, you know, being a criminal for so long, trying to see like a motive or anything like that, like trying, like I hung out with criminals. I, you know, I did criminal shit, being able to see or think what a criminal is doing or a person's doing in a crime comes kind of natural to me. Like as being a criminal, you have to think like the people that are trying to get you and you got to try to stay away from them. So I can't put my this, myself in this man's shoes. I really don't have an understanding of what was in this man's mind. <clears throat> and as of right now, the only thing that actually makes logical sense to me would be it'd be racial. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, the five-year-old kid wasn't, you know, a threat. Five-year-old kid didn't have money. I know the five-year-old kid did owe him, owe him money. I know the five-year-old kid was on a bike like it just the only thing that i can logically come to is a racial a racial thing and had this been you know last year i, I would probably felt the same thing had this been six seven eight years ago when we didn't have black lives matter so much and we did the tensions weren't as bad when it came racially in america i probably wouldn't think that I would have probably thought this man was uh, mentally ill or, you know, this dude was up for days or something. But as of right now, the only options I can see is this dude was cracked out or methed out or he had been up on for days on drugs and like he was out of his mind or it was racial. And I'm, I have to lean more towards racial. Those are just my opinions, guys. I appreciate you guys coming down to the channel and supporting the work. Love you guys. Stay savage.